<laughs> you guys all remember what I said last time about, um... I want to tell you about 23 and me. Oh, come on. Okay. So you guys will remember... What I said last time, and the time before that, um, about hopefully having internet at home the next time. As you can see, I do not. I'm out of the coffee place. And I do mean out, because I couldn't find any place indoors to sit. I can see my breath. Fortunately, not very hard, but it's definitely there. Uh, I know you guys probably can't see it. Um, I'm wearing this little hat tonight. Ultras from Final Fantasy VI. I'm also wearing a nice pin. Um, this cute little bird. Um, from, uh, oh, sorry, some people just walked by. That's going to be happening. Uh, it's a cute little bird from Tiny Bird Garden, which just came out with a deluxe version. So the uh, base version is free on your phones. And the deluxe version is $6.99 on Steam. It's American dollars, because American, or give it and whatever else. Okay, so Thanos versus Dark Side. I don't know. I, I realized, actually, as I was sitting down, that last year, during that season finale, um, I wore my Kafka costume because I was pissed and somewhat uh, insane from Sephiroth not fighting Kafka, but uh, now I just, I wore the Ultras hat because why not? <laughs> it, was, it keeps my head warm, even though it doesn't work with my headphones. Anyway, okay, so Thanos versus Dark Side, I don't freaking know. I had a dream about this fight. Um, I dreamt that Dark Side won, and then someone else came along and killed him. So that person was the winner. It was, it was weird. It was kind of surreal. I really don't know much about these characters. I haven't even seen Infinity War. I remember uh, on the Superman animated series, someone referred to Dark Side. I, I'm pretty sure it was Dark Side as an overgrown parakeet, which I don't know. Then he got vaporized. Go figure. I swear he called him a parakeet. Maybe it was calling one of his soldiers a parakeet. I don't know. The, the word parakeet was definitely said, and then Darkseid vaporized the guy, so. Okay, might as well. Oh my freaking god, the image quality. I am so sorry about the image quality. I can't do anything about that. I just want you guys to know. Um, I guess what I can do is I can just pause this recording and wait for it to get better. Do you like my party hat? I do. I do like your party hat. <coughs> okay, I really hope that worked. The ultimate villain of the Avengers and Dark Side. It doesn't seem to have to the Justice League. He's wears an iron boomstick, and it's our job to analyze but, their weapons, no. armor, and skills to find out who would win. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. I'm trying to click on me. What? But... Come on. I freaking hate Peter right now. I am really, really, really sorry. I, I cannot get this better. Yay! Well, we technically are still in. They experimented on the human race, creating three separate variants. The powerful and beautiful Eternals, destined for war time. Eh, five out of ten. Mutated a gene, which will one day spawn the X-Men, and a deformed, disturbing substance is known as the Demons. Like that one, I'm saying, but not the part. What? Anyway, 
<laughs> Where's that is? Uh, it's long bread. Oh my god, what is wrong with this thing? I don't even know what kind of internet I'm getting here. It's just internet. It's free. Got one hour, 41 minutes to fully charge. So I can't move around. I, I don't... This is going to be really, really bad. I really hope you guys bear with me. It's as frustrating for me as it is for you. Probably more so. Cool. Oh, I know that voice. Yeah. Despite his eternal hair, Thanos' large disproportionate body and thick purple skin were thanks to a deep name Dio. They could mean everyone would hate it, but no, the Eternals were super aggressive. In fact, Thanos was greatly admired for his exceptional intelligence and creativity. That's cool. So is he technically, um, does that mean all of those species are technically human? I mean, the mutants definitely are. The Celestials and the Deviants have to, have to also be human then. <laughs> I have the highest grade in history of the school. I'm only better than a teacher. Even my father recognizes that. <laughs> I know that. This is an art extinguished life to provoke the population is a unique invention of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. In the comics, it's a task assigned by Lady Death. Nice. As you do. His physical and psionic abilities are impressive. His incredible genius led to building massive spaceships, shields that, that look like himself. Hey, you know, I just realized I can read this stuff. The image quality came up. <laughs> Despite his great power, metaphysics have never been the collector's strong suit. But it's not a lack of trying. I see Collector, and I go to the second Pokemon movie. You guys know this, okay? You know this. Hey, but my image quality improved. Also dabbled in the mystic arts. Oh, oh yeah. I was also going to say, so is his throne more powerful than Doctor Doom's throne? Curses, even cool. some of his throne's abilities seem to be more magic than art of science. All hmm. of this potential makes Thanos an incredibly dangerous foe. Yeah, good luck trying to hurt him. He can survive pretty much anything, including a gun specifically right? designed to kill him. He even shot himself in the face with it just to prove how goddamn awesome he is. <laughs> nice. Try that at home, kids. He's strong enough to overpower two fours at once, oh, wow. snap a universal weapon known for its extreme durability, and even lift the gargantuan Galactus engine. A giant super Makes sense. big enough to move planets. According to Mr. Fantastic, when I get most of stuff, this thing is hundreds of miles long. It was not in that other Yeah, but compare that to his size there. That it's like holding up one hundred and forty trillion Empire State buildings. And he's doing this inside the gun of a living Kurt Russell planet that eats other planets and even stars. Man, I I had an iron stomach. A star isn't a single thing. Any energy directed towards us will just be absorbed and adapted to only by completely. 
you done? I don't know if you guys could hear that, but there was a massive truck. It's I'm a boomstick, finally. Just dip it in some squirrel paste. Surviving the stomach of ego isn't so far fetched for Thanos, considering he's also survived a dip in a black hole, extreme reality warping across the metaverse, and the voice of black holes. What's so special about this guy, you ask? Well, with just a whisper, he obliterated one billion tons of rock. This guy can easily break a planet with just one show, and Thanos took three of them to the face. Although Thanos has okay. no I've smarted Grandmaster. Now, uh, I only know Grandmaster from the movies, so I assume he's like some mega genius in the comics because he was not in the movie. <laughs> and for being a speedster character, he's still quick enough to battle the likes of Silver Surfer, a being who can cover 500,000 light years in just a couple of seconds. I know people want him in that battle too. You remember I even I just said this. I had a drink of another character showed up. But I mean obviously he's not gonna be the actual battle. his contract then. text from superheroes. <laughs> Goku is like, hey, hold on, can you adjust the dragon radar to look for things on the dragon ball? Sure, I guess. Yeah, there's this guy here who wants to fire these stones, and he says if he fights them all, he'll fight me. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they look great in his blood. Goku, no. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, infinite reality manipulation, steal a being's soul, <laughs> Bison would like that. Just combined, he summons Captain Planet. Well, more like the destruction of Captain Universe, but sure. Yeah. Fool. Yeah, same difference. Oh, wait, isn't the Time Stone the green one in Doctor Strange as Nicholas? Well, in the movie universe, the Time Stone is green, but in the original comic series, it's orange. This is because every universe has its own unique infinity gauntlet that works exclusively there. Yeah. Interesting. Earth 616. Yeah, that's store. Was an 
explosion that tore the gods asunder, sending a great god well. wave throughout the metaverse, eventually birthing a new generation known as the new gods. Yeah, original. Well, some of these include <laughs> Alpine Space Skier, Fancy Pants Shakespeare, and this cyborg spider Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Uh, annoying or new genesis. Well, the rest got stuck on an actual fireball called a bug lip. Among these damn souls, you think there would be a neutral place to the throne behind his older brother, Drax, not Dave Batista Drax, but DC Drax. Oh man, I really like that guy. Not afraid to say that's not the Marvel we do for here. He so did. the Omega effect transformed Uxus into the physical manifestation of tyranny, Dark Side. Sounds cool. Oh, video will play after ad. Blah 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 blah. Uxus. Shall I can think of his Uxus? Yeah, I'm gonna track mine. I'm gonna a couple of tracks. Sitting in other people's chairs. I protest that Santa gives him a lot of cold. But for real time, it's fire. It's just giving him something he already has plenty of. Even immortality. He's already over 245,000 years old, and that's given him plenty of time to push the limits. So he's really like he's got a new god. I mean, if. Like the oldest ones are like 10 billion. He's just a little bitty baby compared to them. I mean, he persona. can very <laughs> powers like telekinesis and telepathy, and can easily manipulate sentient beings thanks to a cosmic awareness of the multiverse powered by 18 divine senses. Okay. <laughs> God, that like out. Space Age Necromancer, Darkseid can possess living or deceased beings, controlling them like puppets. He can even control basic and inanimate objects, just like the Nomad of Noah. awareness. Uh, they're going to have to explain that. Uh, and they're going to have to explain what the heck the Omega Connection is. I, I get quieter when people are walking by. On contact, the beams can either disintegrate their target, transmute matter, erase beams from You're right there. That's the guy. That's the guy that called him a parakeet. Enemies can turn invisible and face through objects when reaching their target. That's cool. Hmm. Topic of frequency. He's in the Omega Sanction. The Omega Sanction is a sort of life trap. Its target enters a self contained reality where they live out an infinite number of lives for eternity. Oh, that hmm. doesn't sound so bad. I just do a Bill Murray and use all those lives to learn piano or save a dog.
Dark Side would face some pretty steep competition. Yeah, However, I can imagine. However, his power eclipses those of even some of the strongest yeah. heroes around. He is fast enough to take a trip to the Source Wall in just a few seconds. Probably That's good. at the very edge of existence. So like, well, then what's behind it? There's clearly stuff the behind it. The <laughs> universe is about 45 billion light years away, and scientists hypothesized the actual scale is over 106 trillion times greater. It took a whole year for the legendary Helm of Nabu to make this journey. But for Dark Side, all of five seconds. Nice. To pull this off, he'd have to be moving over 87 duodecillion times the speed of light. Which is wow. really a real number that we can <laughs> understand. But if he's super big and important, nice. wouldn't he have an easier time getting to the end? We're factoring the scaling across his universe as a whole. Besides, technically the okay. world is four billion years older than our own universe, so the distance to the edge is probably even further. He's so quick, he can choke out Superman before he even sees him move. Wow. He can knock him out cold in just a few bitch slaps. And Superman. Oh, my God. Hmm. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah. 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 So let me think, you know, can't die. Well, obviously, or else he would be in the Uh. Try to fight it with Omega Beam. Is that every person on that planet? Every sentient being? Anyway? Hmm. There's gotta be some, like, if there's a high end and then everything gets worse, there's gotta be, like, a bottom worse. Surviving yeah. bond. Okay. Also, since Darkseid wasn't affected by the Crisis Mega Reboot, it's still canon that he can blitz pre crisis suits. Who can sneeze solar systems away? <laughs> nice, the right? Lantern ring with heat, destroy planets with his Omega Beams, and wipe out the Justice League with a single strike. Cool. Even with all this power, Darkseid believed he could not dominate the universe until he discovered his ultimate prize, the anti-life equation. Ah, I knew numbers were bad for you. Take <laughs> your stupid ruler. The anti-life is a totally its own. A fragmented piece of the source from which all life originates. Was that guy outside outside help? Dark side discovered a formula which essentially manipulates the anti-life's presence of all living things. And a oh, which that might mix it. Mm -hmm. all mm -hmm. and hope are meaningless efforts. So it's bad to just make me just say it. Yeah. Yes. And a slave to dark side, but yes. So the anti-life is pretty here. weird. But you know what's even more so? The dark side that you think you know isn't actually dark side. Is it what now? He the essence of tyranny itself. Okay. This non-corporeal so god rests in the higher plane of fourth world and molds avatars of his consciousness to interact with the multiverse around him. Okay. His avatar is weaker than his true self. It's a necessary oh, no, handicap. As his own existence in a universe other than fourth world. I read Grant Morrison stated in the true form. Oh, I the true dark side. And then final crisis. When shadow the the... Reality, ending time and space as we know it. The sheer power of the Omega effect threatens entire cosmos, similar to how it's equal, the Astro Force could counter an oblivion ball capable of annihilating the universe in a single blast. Holy shit! Yep. His avatar may lose some power, but it's still tough enough to survive a bomb Lex Luthor designed to rip apart existence and a shot from Marvelous Marno's Master Blaster. Sounds like it was made up by a circus clown, and that kind of makes sense because apparently no life form can stand up to it, just like clouds. Except for Darkseid. Well, Darkseid isn't immune to all guns. All you need is a neat little Radeon bullet. Think of Radeon as the new god's kryptonite. Despite all his power, Darkseid is far from invincible. He's had his heart ripped out, his soul stolen by death, and his essence shattered by Superman. Okay. Oh, no. I just got a few minutes of curiosity about here. To this day, even after so many cataclysmic events, the Lord of Apocalypse continues his mission. I've heard this music before. To the will of Dark Sun. Hey, yes. Okay. All right, the combatants are set. Can you tell me this girl that you see? But first, I need something that can sink my godly hunger. We're in the holiday season, so nobody wants to worry about the current. Hold on, I just saw. Okay, well, 
I mean, whoever wins, we lose. It's the complete opposite of um, Deadpool versus Pinkie Pie. Everyone, everyone is going to lose, and honestly, I'm going the dark side is the winner. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, God. <laughs> it just sounds like he's so, so much more powerful than that. It's like, like, can't even comprehend. And actually, so far, this is the only person I could think of who yeah. might be yeah. able to challenge Kirk for the ultimate death battle later. <laughs> He's blue now. <laughs> so they fight over a chair. that city again. Hmm, he's using one gel. Does that count as using his ultimate attack? Nah, not yet. All this over a chair, gentlemen. it would be so much easier for him to take on a car like that. Like, he'd just be able to stand there and it would just, like, rip apart around him. <laughs> he really... Does he really have those? I remember where I've heard that music before. It was in the Simpsons version of The Raven. Now I gotta find out what it is. I thought they wrote it just for that. Is he ever gonna take his hands from behind his back? I mean, yeah, but still. Sounds like that's like his default pose. I thought shockwaves were going to come to screen about the planet. Which, you know, the entire solar system is going to be. The entire universe, possibly. Oh, there goes Venus. That is a weird way to portray something like that, though, because that's just a solid ball. No, you ain't. I feel like techno would have gone better here rather than rap. Maybe rap techno. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Shit! It was at that moment that I just realized he fucked up. This is just gonna turn into a Sura's Wrath here for a second. Wait, when can he do that? I guess that's matter manipulation, right? Yep, this is just Tracker Heart and chucking solar systems. Play show check versus Segata. 
<laughs> They're still out there fighting, aren't they? As far as there's anything left. Still gonna go. They're still gonna go at it. Yeah, but that ain't his real body. <laughs> it ain't gonna stick. Yep, true form. True form. Oh yeah, just walk into a portal. This guy that's been kicking your ass for the last thousand years walks you into a portal. It don't work. The gems are still glowing. And your whole life's about to get worse. Forever. <laughs> oh my god, it's Deadpool with a gun! <laughs> Especially not right at the freaking climax. Starter souls could potentially reduce Dark Side's true nature, the god power. It still, still could not reduce true form. Also, in a Marvel slash DC presser, prevention is technically canon. Dark Side is part of the Infinity Gauntlet and learned of its limitations outside its own reality. Technically canon? Technically canon. Makes sense. He really couldn't keep up with the space golem. Even going toe to toe with being as fast as Silver Surfer was nothing compared to the dark side to the truth. Oh, this did dark side almost. I thought he just, you know, traveled it like that. And his Omega effect scales to the Astro Force, which could equal the Oblivion Bomb's universe destroying blast. This means the Omega effect and Infinity Gauntlet were both pretty even in terms of destructive ability. Oh. Self-doubt and All this over a chair. Yeah. <laughs> 
I guess we'll find out what that means soon enough. Uh, with a splash. I got no clue what the heck that's supposed to mean. All I can think of is an acrobat. Kelsey. They, I don't think they would have come together that quickly. Do you want a dessert? Uh, <laughs> Just like black? Who knows? Well, I mean, if it is a command, we'd be fighting some error, right? <laughs> it just brings me back to son of a submariner! Hmm. You know, as you do. So just, I don't know. Uh, I guess what I'm really saying is, Final Fantasy VI, please. 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 The only three combatants we've had from Final Fantasy have been from Seven. And that ain't fair. There are so many other games to choose from. And while they wouldn't go with someone from Eleven or Fourteen, they're still so many games. I don't even know how many Final Fantasy games there are. I mean, the numbered ones go up to 15, but then, you know, there's 13 and 13 and 3. And there's 10, 2. And there's just, uh, there's all the side. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Uh, about the battle. Uh, so basically what he did is he just devoured that up and turned him, I guess, human. Like I said, they just sound like, you know, different humans to me. What, if someone can explain to me what makes the uh, Deviants and Celestials, or whatever they were called, different from humans, please do. Because to me it just sounded exactly the same. And I realized it's actually 7.30 right now and I have to freaking upload this. I'm not going to have time to go to the store like I wanted to. <laughs> uh, it just takes forever. With a splash. I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, Katara? Maybe? I'm trying to think of anyone who uses water. They're kind of building stuff. I don't know what the heck to expect the next season. <laughs> They're gonna tell us at some point. Um, probably around the beginning of January. <laughs> so, like, two weeks. <laughs> also, death battle, people, um, if you ever come across this, please, I really, really, really want a voice job. <laughs> I think that would be awesome. Yeah? I mean, you've heard my rage throughout this video, right? <laughs> and, you know, turn on videos, hello, yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, um, I'm gonna upload this and maybe, uh, play some of that, um, Tiny Bird Garden Deluxe. Uh, see you next time.